Happy Wednesday. Hello there, everybody. I am getting ready to do an afternoon walk with Reese's. He is right there. <laughs> and he is ready. He's looking outside right now. He's ready because he knows. Um, the reason why he knows that we're getting ready to go on our walk is because he saw me grab my shoes. That is like his one of his little telltale signs that I'm getting ready to go. He's getting ready to go on his walk. And then he sees me grab my little purse that y'all always see me with when I'm going on my walk. Um, y'all always see it strapped around my, my shoulder. And I just want to kind of show y'all what I have in my little purse. Um, this is cute little purse that I have and it's perfect for my walk I always just um, strap it on I keep my phone in it um, sometimes like I wake up I might wake up like at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'll go ahead and walk him because I know that it's cool outside and it's like hardly no one moving around outside just yet so I like to go ahead and walk him then you know it's still dark or what have you so I like to make sure I have my my phone in case I need it in case of an emergency or anything also I have this not only do I have this as my protection when I go out and I walk early in the mornings or any time that I walk but I also have this I actually ordered this not long before um, I moved I've always pretty much had one hold on just a second it's hard for me to do this with my hands Hopefully you can see me pretty good. I think you can. This is my taser. It's called the Runt. It's a stun, it's a stun gun, and um, I love it. It's real cute. It's small. It's perfect for a female. And I, especially like if it's dark outside, um, when I go for my walk, I'll have it like this especially if I feel a little uneasy I'll walk with it like this down like that um, it's a flashlight the hell out of Reese's that has 20 million volts 20 million volts in it and the reason why I wear this strap is because if someone tries to take it out your hand turn it on try to press it it won't do anything so if someone tries to take it out your hand and this comes out the pin comes out it won't do anything so that way no one they can't use it against you so it's very nice to have and i'll try to um if you guys are interested in ordering this let me know if you are then i can um let you know where to where to get one <laughs> And then the last thing that I keep in that little purse are my keys. So, that's what I have. Right now, we get ready to go on our walk. Put on my shades. The girls are not here. They went to the store, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I lock the door behind me. 
about Mike Brown now one month later and he showed again here today. <laughs> <laughs> that old man can get up. And this is what I go through every time we get ready to go out. All right, see you in a minute. And here we go. He's excited. He knows where we're going now, so now he's trying to run. from mama papa <laughs> but either that or you really gotta go I think he really had to go came back from a walk my camera was dead for a while I'm sorry so a lot of footage I have not gotten today but he is just came back from his walk and he also had his bath today and I accidentally turned my TV off by the wall so my cable is booting back up but anyways today has been a pretty rough day for me today um, and the girls just went and uh, I, I ordered me a little personal size pan pizza to go. So Candace and Felicia are out. They're going to pick that up for me. Oh, what is this? Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. By the way, yes, I said Candace and Felicia. And look, y'all see that? That in that yeah they can't move until Monday seems as though they only paid their deposit mm, yeah usually you have to pay a deposit and a first month's rent <sighs> kids so they'll be moving Monday instead so yeah <laughs> gotta love him all right anyways 
like I said, it's been a rough day for me. Um, kind of an emotional one. Um, I my my doctor's office called me up. My um, appointment. I have an appointment coming up soon to see the surgeon, uh, Doctor Sear. At first, it was October the third. Then it was moved up to next Thursday the 18th and now it's going to be um, on Tuesday it's coming up real soon the sooner my appointment is the sooner I'm gonna have surgery because when I see Dr. Sear he's gonna tell me when I'm having surgery um, in case any of you guys missed it I just found out recently that amongst other things a million things with my spine you know, I do, um, in case you don't know, my spine is degenerating and I have a whole host of things going on with my spine on top of my spine being fractured. It's an old fracture that never healed. I have bulging discs, herniated discs, just again, the spine is dis degenerating and from like nine months ago when i saw my surgeon to now now i have a ruptured disc so from what i know you know before going to see the surgeon they have to remove that and i have to have another um um sp another spinal fusion I just got out of a neck brace that I had to wear three months straight. I had to sleep in, I had to shower in, and it was pretty rough. So now I have to go through that again. And I just separated from my husband. And it's just a lot. And I know he's probably watching this vlog right now. And I really don't give a damn. Because I can't even get him to take me to my doctor's appointment. I have to call around and get other people to try to get me there to see the surgeon. But that's why today was a rough day. Because... I've been knowing this man since I was nine years old. You would think just as a person, as a human being, that he would care. But he don't give a shit. So there, there you have it. So anyways, it is what it is, the truth hurts. Yeah, it hurts me too. So anyways, I am about to warm my doggy up some leftovers. That was a chicken soup that I made about a week ago and I need to get this out of my refrigerator. Plug it back in. So Reese gets a little snack. I wonder if he knows this is for him. Yeah, he, he knows it's for him. Oh, greedy butt, man. Either he knows it's for him, I know dang on well he's hoping it's for him. <laughs> I would be too though if I was a dog. Sounds like it might be still, sounds crunchy like it might be a little ice in it. Oh, well, let's see if I, yeah, that's still cold. Ice cold. Didn't know that 
now we have sour all up in my grill. <laughs> Didn't know he was, he was all up in my grill, huh, Papa? Huh? You give mama kisses? You come give mama kisses. You give mama kisses. You give mama kisses? Huh, baby? Huh? I love you. This is getting hot. I didn't want it to get too hot because I know he's really waiting. I don't want him to have to wait too long while I put it in the refrigerator because I know he's really looking. Well, that's cold. Yeah, that juice is hot. See if I can get some of that juice out of there. That's good. It's a little cold in some areas, but that's perfect for him. This is your lucky doggy guy. Let me see if I can carry this over here with me without making a plum mess. There you go, baby. <laughs> Mix a little bit of his food with it. Alright, so me and Reese's is out here on the balcony. We're just chilling. <laughs> Got the laptop out here. We're just chilling, listening to some music, and just relaxing. Alright, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all already know. I said I was not going to be satisfied until I tried the wasabi and ginger. And ginger. I started saying vinegar. <laughs> Gen ginger. <laughs> ginger and vinegar at the same time. But anyways. Alright. I heard that cappuccino sucks. I heard that. I heard that babe said that it sucks. And then my friend Desiree said that it was like team no-go. That's all I need to know. I still want to try mac and cheese. Bacon mac and cheese. But the one that I've really been wanting to try. Y'all see it close up? Can they see it, Candace? Close mm -hmm. up. Kettle cooked wasabi and ginger. Ginger. <laughs> there I go again. All right. Now. A couple of people said that they didn't like it at first. Then they said after a couple of times they really liked it. And it's funny because when I smell it, it's it reminds me of the salt and vinegar. Okay. Mm. Mm. You like it? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> really good. I'm happy I tried this. I'm happy I tried this. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and vote. You vote at www.dousaflavor.com. You can't vote until you try bacon. Mm. No, you try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's a nice surprise. It's good, right? Different. Mmm. I like that. All right, all right, Gabe. You know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about, girlfriend. Mm. This really got good. I could actually sit here 
and eat this and eat this and eat this and look at Candace. Mmm. It was definitely worth the wait. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> mm. Good night. Toodles. Good night. Good night. <laughs>